I'm happy to say that after over a year, a year and a half of research, data collection, and analysis, our team is finally ready to publish our first paper on feasibility of single, double, and lateral tanging on the clarinet. We will present our research three times this year at Clarinet Fest in Orlando, Florida, uh, at Speech Language Pathology Conference in Groningen in the Netherlands, and later this fall at the University of Toronto Music and Health Research Collaboratory. Uh, we're studying the dynamics of tongue motion in the uh, playing articulation of the clarinet, and we think this is very important to get more detail about how the tongue moves, uh, in particular looking at different modes of articulation that have been known for quite a while, but haven't been studied at this kind of level uh, in terms of oral motor control. How can novel players learn from our insights in terms of their training and become better players in the future? I'm investigating how an uh, extremely skilled player, like Cornell, articulates when he's playing the clarinet. And what we want to find out is um, what exactly the differences are between this articulation and less skilled players. So we're looking at the tongue tip movements and the tongue dors dorsal movements. And we are hoping that it can be very useful for teachers and instructors, this knowledge, to instruct their uh, students better and helping them in improving their articulation. This is one of the state-of-the-art machines that uh, we use to record speech movements. It's uh, called the Electromagnetic Articulograph System. Um, there's only a very few machines in the whole world that can actually measure movements inside the mouth at this precision. We can record this at about 250 to 400 times a second at about 0.5 millimeter accuracy. We're very happy to collaborate with uh, musicians like Cornell uh, because it's an excellent opportunity for science and art to integrate and this is one of the few places in the world where we can actually achieve such integration and uh, symbiotic learning uh, to progress science in the right direction. And uh, thank you so much for working with us Cornell. Thank you.